Taternator and Shoulder. Now, we did see... Uh, I'm trying to remember the Yoshi player that uh, Tater played earlier. It was Taquitos, I believe. Uh, so, Tater and Nader already warmed up in this matchup, but Sugar is a different beast, as you say. Obviously, making it all the way to winners here in Wednesday Night Fights is no small feat, so congrats to him. I don't think we've seen him that often here, so it's always good to see a fresh face in winner's final. That being said, Tater is definitely the favorite, as he is the Ard. Uh, and I believe he would be, he was seated number one, uh, as he is the only PR player here, unless K9 is. Uh, I don't think so, though, because they played each other in winner's semis. Anyway, going into this game, uh, it's tied up right now, actually very close, as Sugar... Is that real? Does Yoshi actually have down throw up air in this game? Uh, I'm distracted by that though, but when I should be uh, complimenting Sugar there for getting that fair off stage, gets the spike. Sugar is on the he's got the lead right now, and uh, he has an opportunity to run away with it right now, as he is doing right now, landing these up airs. Both these characters are very survivable. As I say that, the clown car spin out takes out Sugar, but he's also firing back and has put on almost 90% here. Okay, Taylor off stage again, and oh, doesn't manage to get a confirm off that egg, but does get another opportunity here. Oh, gets the shield break. Oh. But Tater slides off the stage, canceling his stun. He's back in this new lease on life. Is that gonna cost him the game? I hope it should. Is that mistake pushing Tater off the edge going to cost him the game? We're gonna see that. Uh, as it's already cost him some percent here as Tater is fighting his way back into this one, but he's off stage once again. And Sugar is playing this so patiently. Gets an up air out of shield as Taylor tries to run away. That first game is going to Sugar. What's our counter pick? Oh, finally a stage that is not Pokemon Stadium. All right, so. Taternator with the town and city counter pick. So let's get into it. It's game number two right now. Sugar versus Taternator. All right, Sugar landing with a reverse up air. Um, very greedy and going to get punished by Taternator there. I'm sure it would have led to big damage, but if, in most situations, if you're just getting hit by landing up air in neutral, uh, you're, you've fallen asleep <laughs> in the game. <laughs> anyway, Sugar starting off this game a little weaker right now. He's uh, been put off stage, and uh, Tater is... doing a lot more damage to him right now. And uh, Tater goes for his first dash attack on stream. At least uh, one target of his opponent. I believe he misinputed one earlier. But uh, it does not work out for him. That move is not very useful. Uh, doesn't really lead to anything. Doesn't kill. Uh, it's pretty laggy. But as a burst option, sure. Know, you can get a little bit of percent on your opponent, but Sugar immediately punishing it. And uh, Sugar taking that stock too, but Bowser, yeah. Bowser Jr. shenanigans as Tater just runs up and forward smashes Sugar. Okay, get up attack from Sugar, the worst best option. 
Okay, Tater not getting a punish off that clown car. And Gunt is going to get hit by that narrow out of shield. Going to get grabbed. Going to get it up air. He's going to almost get forward air. But, oh, pivot grab snatching Tater Nader. There's some Perfox shenanigans going on with that one. And Sugar going for the mix up there with the egg lay. So, uh, you can actually beat that option off, out. Uh, it's kind of weird how it works. But if you press A and a direction, uh, you will buffer that move out of the egg lay. So if you press A and then mash a, a direction, or, or say neutral air, um, you just press A and then start mashing, it will buffer neutral air out of that, and it will actually beat out uh, Yoshi's down B in most cases. Uh, so, of course, when, you know, when that happens to you really quite fast, you're not always thinking about it, and Tater maybe kept being caught a little off guard there, or maybe he just didn't know. It's kind of weird. Beefy Snatch Dude did a whole video on how Yoshi's egg play works, uh, and it is kind of wonky and uh, different than a lot of other mechanics in this game. So uh, it's worth watching if you're interested at all in this matchup or you fight against a lot of Yoshis. And with Suga getting into Grand file and file Finals here, uh, definitely showing this character is irrelevant, at least in SoCal. Uh, so maybe it will pay to do your research right now. Uh, and Tater already, uh, once again, behind here. Last stock, but he is climbing his way back in once again as well. Um, he's already managed to put up 60-70% uncontested damage here. But that Nair putting him in a bad spot, it could be the one opening that Sugar needs to find it, find his kill here. And uh, Tater Nader with some makeup, I, getting a little too cheeky here. Yeah, he, he realized that he was going to re-grab the ledge, so what he decided to do was fake like he was going to go to the other side and and grab ledge, uh, which was good, but then he did it again, and Suga caught on and punished him with that fair, uh, closing out that set. So Suga now up two games over Tater Nader. Can Suga close it out? This would be a huge win for him. I believe he is it PR'd um, in his region within SoCal, but not PR um, on the entirety of the SoCal PR. In SoCal, we have different regions. Uh, so Inland Empire and uh, San Diego, I believe, are yes, separate regions as, as well. Um, then they, those regions have their own PR. But uh, so, for instance, uh, Razo of uh, Main is number one, I believe, on the Inland Empire PR. Uh, but on the uh, the SoCal PR, the general PR, he's like four or five, I believe. There are other players like that, like uh, AC is uh, is PR'd in, in San Diego, and he's PR'd here at different numbers. Uh, so if you're not familiar with the region, like. Uh, it, it's a lot different than other regions, or a lot of other Smash regions that I'm familiar with, in that there are, because we're so spaced out, uh, it's like, you know, for some of these guys, the IE guy, Island Empire guys, to drive out to a local, like, WNF, it can take them two or three hours. So they go to a lot of their own locals, and a nice shield break from Sugar coming out there. So a little bit of information on SoCal region, if you are interested. Anyway, back to this game. Shuka with a lead. It looks like he's going to pull off his upset here uh, with this lead in on this, what could be the last game of the set. And the command grab coming out is a great option. Uh, catching Tater in shield. Uh, drop down forward air. Gonna force Sugar to make another recovery, but he will make it back. Uh, but once he gets back on stage, he's gonna get hit by that clown car spin out. And Tater at 120. Uh, I've certainly seen Tater make comebacks uh, where he is further behind than this, so I would not count him out in the least bit. He is a very capable player, 
and uh, he t has a tendency to just be able to survive for a very long time. Uh, both these characters actually are very good at that. I think I mentioned at the beginning of this match, uh, both on the heavier side. Anyway, Sugar almost <laughs> losing this lead at this point until he lands that up smash, catching that nair that Tater threw out. Uh, all right, he's gonna land some up airs there, and when Wendy's outside of the Koopa shell like that, can take a lot of extra damage. Okay, and goes for the forward air if he believed himself and went a little further out, he would have taken out that stock. This is this is almost curtains for Tater though. He needs to make he needs to play this perfect right now. He is so far behind with being two star being almost an entire stock behind exactly in terms of percent and gets that back air finally, drifts back and then throws out the back air again after Sugar drops his shield. Nice bait from him, but he is off stage again so many times. Uh, he needs to make it back to win this and not take any more damage. He's gonna get grabbed. Grab won't kill. Yoshi's can't kill with grab until like 300 or so. But he will get hit by the Nair out of shield and good stuff to Sugar. He is sitting in winner's finals now. So congrats to him. 3-0-ing Taternator. That's a huge win for him. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying this 